For years, he was stuck behind the shadow of his brother, living every day as the sidekick, only there along to help, never receiving any of the true glory that he deserved. This shy, scared, but courageous figure has been in the shadows for too long. And on today's episode, we explore Luigi and give you the top 10 facts of that you didn't know. Hello tryhards and welcome to Factories, the show where we give you the facts, nothing but the facts about your favorite Nintendo characters and games. And today, we are focusing on the lean green fighting machine himself, the original Ghostbuster, Luigi. Now, although Luigi has lived in the shadow of Mario his entire life, he actually has a pretty cool backstory and some very interesting facts, so make sure to stay tuned for the entire video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a like down below, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more content like this. But without further ado, let's get into the top 10 facts about Luigi. Number 1. Luigi's name is actually a pun. When the game creators of Mario wanted to give Mario a brother, they thought it would be only right to give him an Italian name like Mario, so they named him Luigi, supposedly after a nearby pizza place. But this is actually dead wrong. You see, in Japanese, Ruigi, Ruigi with an R, actually means similar. So, it was actually sort of a pun that he was similar of Mario, and basically, for many of the original games, he was just a color swap of Mario's colors. Um, and that is basically how Luigi got his name, basically based off a pun that he was similar to Mario, and was just a color swap. Number 2. Luigi was colored to look like an enemy. In the original Super Mario Brothers games, when they decided they wanted to give Mario a brother, they had a very limited color palette to actually work with, so it made it very hard to find distinct colors that were separate from Mario's and to sort of create a clone from, clone from Mario, but differed from the original character. So to solve this problem, they had to use the same colors as another character in the game, known as the Shell Creeper, which was the enemy at the time. Uh, this basically comes from the inability to create an original character at the time, which is why Luigi was modeled to look after the Shell Creeper, and therefore a bad guy. Number 3. Luigi has been a coward from the beginning. From his first actual game appearance in Super Mario Bros. 2, Luigi has been portrayed as a coward. Since then, there's been games that we came to know and love, such as Luigi's Mansion and other games like that, uh, where Luigi is also portrayed as a scaredy cat coward who's particularly afraid of ghosts. So it wasn't just in the newer games where Luigi actually became a coward. This was planned back from the very, very beginning of the video game franchise. Number four, and this one is actually quite cool. In the Mario game franchise, it has been a long mystery of what is actually under the mask of a shy guy. And unfortunately for us, and unfortunate for him maybe, Luigi is the only one to ever know what or see what was under the mask of a shy guy. This happened at the cutscene um, if you won a match as the Shy Guy character in Mario Power Tennis, where he trips at the podium and his mask falls off, and Luigi catches a glimpse of what the face is under the mask, and his look is pure terror and astonishment. So maybe it's lucky that the Luigi was the only one to ever see it, but nonetheless, it is quite a cool fact. Number 5. Throughout his appearances in the video games throughout history, Luigi has been called about a thousand different things. He has many, many different nicknames. From these are Long John Spaghetti, Mushroom Dynamite, Plunger Puss, Mr. Eyeballs, The Green Mustached Barton, and one that we know and love, Mr. L. This is actually quite cool that he has so many nicknames as he must be known by many, many people. Number 6. Many people think that Luigi's Mansion was the first game that Luigi starred in as the main character, but it's actually not true. There was a game back in the 1994, which was called Mario Was Missing, which Luigi was a main character and you had to go find Mario, and it was more of an educational type of game. Now, this game has been long accredited as terrible and, you know, just awful game, but still, it was the first one that Luigi was the main character in, so I guess it has that going for it. Number 7. Luigi has a twin brother? In Super Mario Galaxy, there's a level called Ghostly Galaxy in which Mario must rescue Luigi from uh, a ghost-like castle. Now, in Super Mario Galaxy, 
if you go and complete the game and collect all 120 stars, you have the ability to go back and play as Luigi. Now, when you go back to that level and play as Luigi, you will actually not be rescuing Mario, but actually still rescuing Luigi. And at the part thing, at the part where you actually rescue him, he says something along the lines of, oh, there must be... So there's so many people in the galaxy, I guess one had to look like me. So this has been, I don't know if it was just a playoff that they didn't want to re-say it, or alluding that Luigi actually has a twin brother out somewhere out there in the galaxy. Nonetheless, it's a pretty cool fact. Number 8. Luigi has not always worn green clothes. In a 1984 game called The Wrecking Crew, Luigi looked much different, wearing a red hat and red overalls very similar to Mario. And he has also been seen wearing a blue hat with and blue overalls with a yellow shirt. So even though he's the iconic green character that we know and love today, at one point he didn't always have this color scheme. Number 9. Luigi could actually beat someone in Super Smash Bros. Melee without doing anything. The process of this is quite simple and someone was very smart to figure it out. Step 1 would be to pick Luigi, and step 2 would be to do absolutely nothing on certain levels. And will actually, the characters will fight you, but they will not be able to beat you, and will eventually just end up falling out of the pit, making you win. This is a very strange fact, but it has been proven to be true. Number 10, the final fact, and maybe the cutest of them all. While being the brother to Mario, and Luigi has all the hardships that Luigi has to face of always being second best, Luigi really looks up to his brother. He's been quoting saying that he all he wants to do in his life is just be like his older brother and, and just be the hero that he could be or anyone like him. It's actually really, really inspiring the fact that Luigi looks up to Mario so much. But guys, that is your 10 facts about Luigi. If you did like it, guys, make sure you go down below and smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to comment what your favorite fact was down below the number of the favorite fact. And if you want to... Make sure to leave a suggestion of who you want to see top 10 facts about next. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and this has been Factories. We will see you guys next time. Bye.